County mother continues to look for her son who disappeared last September. The only clue left behind was the medicine he needed to manage diabetes. Michael Burke has an update about the search for Sean Glover in this week's LEX 18 Crime Stoppers. Her sign says it all. We was just up here last weekend with a psychic. We've been up here with some dogs from Louisville ourselves and uh, just walking roads, going down in ditches, going around lakes. Lexington police are now assisting with the Powell County investigation while offering reward money for viable information about last September's disappearance of Sean Glover. She reached out to us a couple weeks ago. Um, we may hear this story to help her. She thinks somebody has seen him somewhere um, and she's desperate to find her, her child. Sean was last seen here at the Clay City Inn, just off Mountain Parkway on September 27th of last year. Mom says there may have been an altercation that morning and he was with the young woman he was spending time with. Days after his disappearance, an important discovery is made. And his insulin bag was found in back of this motel up here. Investigators who've been working the case believe he may have had a seizure and that those around him didn't know what to do, so they panicked. Three weeks later, the case takes another turn. They said that he was killed here and they moved his body to that house. The house where he was living, which someone set fire to three weeks after Sean's disappearance. Arson was the ruling, but his remains were not found. Sean Glover is still classified as a missing person. They don't have any leads. They don't want to know where he's at, but we believe that somebody does somewhere. That belief is what keeps bringing a mother back to this site. Well, it's just heart wrenching. In Clay City for Crime Stoppers, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome to today's reading. Today's reading is nothing short of a mystery. We've got Mr. Sean Glover out of Powell County, Kentucky, Clay City. And not only is he missing, but a little bit after his disappearance, his house or the home that he was staying in or last staying in was caught on fire in the determination was that it was arson however oops, his body or his remains were not found inside of the burnt home like they was that they thought was going to be they've got of course i showed this news clip where they've got a female going into the house you can see flames bursting up in the out of the window and then the female quickly leaving so this is a bit of a mystery I got a few questions here, so we can ask and see where the reading leads us. Sean Glover. Here we go. This is another one that I've looked at and have no idea on what happened to. I just can't figure out why they burnt the house down if there was no body in it to uh, conceal. That just didn't make any sense to me. All right, let's start out with why was Sean at the Clay City Inn? What was his business there? Um, the circumstances surrounding the altercation with a girlfriend to which they say he left and disappeared. The reasons for this altercation. Sean stayed out of mind the night that he disappeared. Okay, if he wasn't in the home, then why was the house caught on fire? What they burn the house down for? Reasoning behind that. Circumstance surrounding his disappearance. The reason for the circumstances. The perpetrator, person responsible for his disappearance. Their motive for making Sean disappear. And open. All right. Now, on the first question, we've got why was Sean at the Clay City Inn? It's going to be the world reversed. World reverse indicates not accomplishing what you've set out to do and becoming stagnant in that. Um, the situation making you feel stuck, but the advice of this card is to accept your disappointments and cut your losses. That's the clarifying card for that. So this clarification for why Sean was at the 
slice it in. It's going to be the nine of wands. Let's read this. Nine of wands represents ongoing battles. It's having a backbone, fighting your corner, making your last stand, uh, being wounded, expecting trouble, things not working out as you planned. He got himself into something that he couldn't get out of, representing ongoing battles. This has been something that's been going on for a while. Now, the circumstances surrounding the altercation with the girlfriend, we got the Five of Wands. It shows conflict, fighting, battles, aggression, being rough, defensive, or territorial. All right now, for the reasons. That's going to be a Six of Pentacles reversed. That's gifts that come with strings attached. Uh, someone manipulating you, pretty much. It's um, trying to make you subservient to them. It represents you getting conned or being conned. Extreme of being too greedy. Groveling to someone with wealth, power, and authority. Huh. Wealth, power, and authority. Well, I know that means your law enforcement, but... Or judicial, let's go on. Um, state of mind. This is Sean's state of mind. It's gonna be the Knight of Cups reverse. It's disappointments. Um, it also aspects a lover with inconsistent and unpredictable behaviors who's untrustworthy and unreliable and a manipulator. The girlfriend, I feel like I don't know what the reason behind it of it is yet, but I feel like the girlfriend was used to be the girlfriend to lure him in for something. This is something from his past. Ongoing battle. Um, Let's look at the reason why, since he was not found in the house, why the house was burnt. Now you've got the star. The star is um, a card of bringing money luck. It's finding a hidden, hidden talent that you can put to good use. But now if you look at the card and the symbolism on it, You've got the eight stars and the guiding star. That's a symbol of Freemasonry. The maiden, which was the female. Um, the bird. The bird is the perfect fish hook. It's baiting or trapping someone. It's also the symbol of freedom of the soul. And the flowing water. That's the water of life. Oof. See on that video that uh, when his house caught fire, it was a female that done it. It was a... Um, she was hired to do that. She had, she she got money, got paid to catch that house on fire. All right, let's, let's do a clarifying card for that. See, let's clarify for me about Sean's house being set on fire. And we've got the Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed indicates someone that's talked their way out of trouble, denying any involvement. Oh, that would be also be the female. It signifies a criminal who's vicious and dangerous. It also represents someone being overly cocky and impulsive. Now, being impulsive to the point of putting others in jeopardy. There was evidence in that house. That's why it was burnt. That's why it was burnt. Now, the circumstances surrounding Sean's disappearance, we got the Nine of Swords. as a card of fear and anxiety. Being unable to cope with or face problems. Uh, mental anguish and remorse, guilt, regret, wishing you could go back in time and rewrite the past and be in the subject of gossip. This is something from his past, yeah. This is a decision that he's made or something he's done. But I feel like it's, he was forced to do it. Is what keeps you up at night, your worst fears. I wonder if this boy didn't get in some trouble and tell on somebody. Let's go, let's go on. Let's see here. The reasons for the circumstances surrounding the disappearance is going to be justice reversed. That's a life out of balance. Issues spiraling out of control. A decision going against you. Dishonesty. Being treated unfairly. Bad advice from a trusted person. Not being able to speak your truth. Being overruled by those who don't understand your predicament. Yeah, this boy got in some kind of trouble. I heard he's got some kind of arrest record. And in order to get out of this trouble, he they've 
probably scared him to death. He's had to tell on somebody because the perpetrator is the Hierophant. Hierophant represents institutions, uh, willingness to conform, showing you a path to follow in a community. That's jails. Yeah. Motive, the hangman. Being in a situation you're not happy with. Being trapped in a situation. Facing the dilemma and unsure which path to take. Yeah, also the lovers here. It indicates major choices to make. Faced with a dilemma. Feeling uncertain about situations and which direction to take. This boy was um, forced into turning evidence on somebody or testifying against somebody. And they've come back for him. That's exactly what's happened. I have to do a another read for a deeper involvement on exactly what it was that but this is a, a a legal issue and it not working out in your favor. Whatever legal trouble he got himself into got him killed. Man. I swear I just I just don't see I don't see this being drugs though. I don't see this being Anything of his real doing, something he just got caught up in. Honestly, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. And the police using that against him. They've used something, they've held something already said to, to get him to tell. Because he didn't tell willingly. Okay. What a read here, boys. I want to thank you for taking the time to go through this read with me. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.